Hey everyone, this is Dr. Bright saying this episode is going to be a big one. Please do not mention any spoilers in the comments down below. Instead, you can talk about the episode by joining the official Newscape Pro Discord, which is in the info down below. Also, be sure to check out NewscapePro.com, where we have two stylish SCP face masks. We also have the SCP-999 mug, level 5 lanyards, and the collectible pins. That's NewscapePro.com. Order your merch! Link is also down in the description below. Thank you and enjoy the episode. Seriously, no spoiling. After a tough battle, I have finally returned. The witch has been slain. Um, excuse me. Prince? But where is everyone? The kingdom seems to be empty. Ah, Ruby. Everyone's busy preparing for the celebration. Oh, th there's no need for a celebration. Me saving the entire kingdom from evil witch Emma was nothing, really. Oh, but this celebration isn't just for your noble deeds. It's also for our wedding. Wh what Tommy, I don't know what to say! Say yes, Reuben. Look, I'm a mermaid. This is so cool. I've always wanted to swim. Well, Mr. Fish, you're technically not a mermaid. You still have legs. Don't ruin my dreams. Um, so anyways, what were you saying, Tom? Ah! What the? Ruby? What? Corey, what are you doing here? Ruby! Ruby! Wake up! Ruby! Wake up! What? What? What is it? Ahem, can I borrow your toilet plunger? Well, actually, I already borrowed it, but I felt guilty for taking it. You woke me up for this? Yeah. Also, the butt ghost may have destroyed it. Sorry. No! You're going to be sorry once I'm done with you! Wait, Ruby, let's talk about- ah! yeah! Ow! Hey! Yeah! Ah! I'm sorry! Ah! couldn't help but notice you're exhausted. Is everything all right? Huh? Oh, hey, Dr. Iceberg. I was just making some cereal for breakfast. It's 5 p.m. Ruby, are you getting enough sleep? Yeah, actually, I've been getting a lot of it recently. You know, oversleeping can be a bad thing as well. Oh, but I'm doing testing with SCP-1230, so it's work-related. One, two, three, zero. You mean the green book where after you read it and go to sleep, you enter a fantasy world. Yep, that's the one. Those dreams have been really magical. A lot of my friends have been in those dreams as well. Huh. Out of curiosity, have I been in your dreams? Hmm, no, I don't think so. Ooh, ooh, have I been in your dreams? Uh, actually, yeah, Dr. Bright. You always appear as an old man or something. Yes! Oh, and Mr. Fish was in my dreams as well. And Iris, and... I see. Well, you probably shouldn't be sleeping too much just to test it out. You might grow too emotionally attached. Well, thanks for your concerns, Dr. Iceberg, but there's no need to be worried. I should get going now. Oh, where are you heading off to? I'm gonna go sleep again and have another fantasy dream. Wait, no, that's a bad... Ugh. 
Dr. Iceberg, she just wants to see that Tommy guy again since she can't talk with him in the real world. Are you jealous? I, I'm, I'm not jealous. Ugh. Ah, oh, come on. He's gonna be dead any minute now. No need to be jealous of a dead guy. Prince Tommy, our marriage is about to begin, and with that, our kingdoms will be united. Together, we'll rule the entire land of Tommy and Rubytopia. No, this isn't what I want. Emma, I'm sorry, but you're not the one for me. Tommy, you're blinded by that redhead girl. You must refrain from her trickery. She's not good for you. Tricks is you, Emma! Ruby! Ugh, what are you doing here, peasant girl? I've come to stop this wedding! It may be good for the kingdom, but did you ever ask if it's what Tommy wants? She's right. Emma, I don't- Tommy, don't interrupt us. Ruby, was it? What makes you think you're good enough for him? You're not even a princess. No, I'm not. But I'll fight for what I believe in. Send in anyone you want, Princess Emma! I'll take them all on! Guards, attack! Bring it on! I have the power of God and anime on my side! My queen! My leg! Anyone else, Emma? Why don't you come down here and we'll settle this now! <sighs> If you want something done, you have to do it yourself. Uh, yeah, ah, take that! Yeah, ah. yeah. Wow. Rest forever. Ruby, you did it. You saved the kingdom. You saved Tommy and Rubytopia. Uh, oh, it was nothing, really. Like she said, I'm just a peasant. No, Ruby, you're more than that. How would you like to be the ruler of this kingdom? With me. W what? That means I'd be a princess, and you'd be my- Prince, yeah. You two get married, yada yada. Happily ever after. We get it, we get it. D Dr. Bright? No, I'm the bookkeeper, remember? I just take the form of one of your friends, so it's not weird. No, that's still pretty weird. Well, Ruby, I thank you for enjoying yourself in these fantasy scapes of mine. But I believe it's time you return back to your real world. What? But why? I'm happy here. I can actually talk to Tommy, unlike in the real world. We haven't talked because of the Black Shuck. Yes, but this isn't really Tommy. I'm not? He's just a figment of your imagination. An illusion. Judging from your adventures here, you really care about him. And I wouldn't doubt that the real Tommy cares a lot about you, too. He, yeah, you're right. <sighs> I guess I should return to the real world, then. Yes, you should. I do appreciate you venturing here. You have a wild imagination. But the real world awaits you, too. You have friends that care about you, Ruby. Go to them. Okay. Thanks for the grand adventure, bookkeeper. Goodbye, fake Tommy. I'm fake Tommy. Ah, uh, what a dream. The bookkeeper's right, though. I shouldn't use 1230 for too long. And besides, there was that one professor that wanted to use it after me. What was his name? It started with a B. Huh? What's this? Tommy? Dear Ruby, 7 p.m. today marks the year from when I saw the Black Shuck. I know we haven't talked these past months, but I still think about you. And I'm afraid because of these feelings, the Black Shuck might affect you. So to be sure that you're safe, I'm going to- Wait! No! Tommy!
Well, this is it. <sighs> it certainly has been a bizarre adventure, but it had its moments. <laughs> I better get through this quick. The black shack will probably take effect in the next few minutes. Tommy, you don't have to do this alone. Emma? Wh what are you doing here? I'm sorry for becoming upset when you first told me about your situation. It was unfair to you. It... it doesn't matter anymore. It's going to happen any minute now. I have to do this. Now. The Black Shuck kills either you or a loved one, right? I want for it to decide. It's the least I can do for you. No. No. I won't let you do that. Emma. I... I care about you. And it was my fault for looking at its eyes. So I should be the one to die. No, please let me be here with you. Tommy, we spent all those years together. Emma. The Black Shuck could kill you. I don't care. If it does, then at least I get to spend my last minutes with you. Tommy, uh, I love you. Emma, I... I love... Ruby? Ruby! Please wake up. Ruby? Please, don't be dead. Don't... Don't do this. Why? Why aren't you waking up? Tommy, I I'm so sorry. It was supposed to be me. I was the one that was supposed to die. Why did you stop me? I just wanted to be with you. I didn't know- I shouldn't have listened to you. It shouldn't have been her. Well, you obviously cared more about her than me. Emma... You faked your own death and it sent me to become a D-Class. Do you really think I could forgive you after that? When I became an O5, I was ordered to kill you. All of that was me trying to keep you alive, but I guess it doesn't matter now. Ruby? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. This is all my fault. Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> 